Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. This is episode 9 of our Let's Play Season 1, 1975, Kansas City Royals. And we are coming out of the All-Star break and we are we are slumping. We're not doing so hot. Um we are tied for the lead, but man, we have been just struggling. Struggling mightily. Uh, I wonder, let's see, there should be a way to see this uh, by sub-league, expanded standings, no, that's not what I want to see, maybe they don't have it, I, I just wanted to, okay, but this will help, alright, so we're 58 and 49 at the All-Star break, uh, we uh, are four games over the Pythagorean, which is good, uh, the bad news is the Cubs are two games behind it. We're 26 and 22 at home. That's not so good. 32 and 27 on the road, which is actually probably expected. 7 and 3 in extra innings. 18 and 13 in one run games. So we are not performing very well. And actually, I guess we're a little after the all. We're we're uh, just a couple of weeks after the All Star break. My my apologies. Uh, we've been we are seven and ten since the All Star break. Fifty one and thirty nine before the break. Sixteen and twenty against lefties. So we're not hitting lefties very well at all. Uh, four and six in our last ten. And for the pennant chase, our magic number is fifty. Uh, let's see, wild cards. We are actually, uh, let's see. I don't, I don't remember if we're going to have one or two wild cards in my setup, to be honest with you. Uh, so we may be four and a half back in that chase. If two of us go, we're actually in the driver's seat for that second spot, four games ahead of Cleveland. Um, yeah, but we've been struggling, man, struggling. Um, let's see. How's our chemistry? Chemistry's looking okay. Nobody's really having any major issues. No complaints. How McRae has become a team leader. Tony Salada is disruptive. Paul Splitorf and Freddie Patek are outspoken, as is Jim Wolford. Um, no bench, no good or bad relationships. George Brett hitting 338. John Mayberry 268. Tony Salada hitting 231. He's actually listed as one of our top players, but we can't trade him for anything. Uh, top prospects, Sheldon Mallory, Rupert Jones, both at AAA. Rodney Scott is in the bigs, hitting 211. I believe, yeah, we called him up because of the injury, remember? Uh, let's see. Fan interest has gone up to an 89, so they're excited about us being in the playoff hunt. We are ninth in attendance, coming up on a million fans. Tied for 17th in budget, 24th in payroll. That's really sad that my budget is 17th and we're way over, we're a half million over that. And we're near the bottom in payroll or at the bottom. Uh, let's see. Catcher. Yeah, we don't, we don't have a very good catcher. 21st in the league. 15th at shortstop, 24th in right field, 13th in starting pitching. All areas that we would like to see improvement. Let's see, what are we doing in right field here? Oh, we've called up Al Cowens. I'm going to go ahead and tag him. Let's see, editor... Right field. How's that work? Yep, yeah, that did change it. Cool. 
All right. Now I probably have to sim ahead to get that to take effect. Yeah, because it's still showing Jim Wolford there, but that's okay. Uh, I think that's an upgrade. All right, I yeah, I just don't know what else to do here. I mean, what's what's given us our biggest problem? I don't care about power too much. That's my personal preference. I think I mentioned in one of the early videos I'm an OBP guy uh, for off for offensive stats. Um, you know, I really tend to subscribe to that money ball theory. Uh, and I look at, OB, you know, on base percentage, uh, you know, do they get on? I mean, if they're not getting on, they can't move up and they can't knock people in and they can't score. So, you know, I do look at OBP. We do need to improve that because we're seventh. We've dropped to eighth in batting average. Power, I'm not so worried about. You know, it's average OBP. Those are Those are the things that I'm looking at. But we're still scoring a good number of runs. But you notice we're 489-4, 484 against, which is eighth in the American League. So right in the middle of the pack. Starter's ERA is killing me. Our bullpen's actually carried us this year, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Rodney Scott's gotten called up. Willie Wilson... John Wathen. Five three five and a five in defense. Five three six. Yeah, I mean Healy Healy looks like a better catcher. I'm wondering if that injury is affecting him in his rating because he, he looks better than 24th or whatever that was. Wow. 21st. Um, yeah, well, all right. I haven't made any changes. There's really nothing to, you know, no players to move around. Uh, again, if you are just catching up with this or just tuning in, something I did in my setups uh, I only wanted the three minor leagues, AAA, AA, and single A. I deleted the other ones, and somehow in doing that, it deleted all the minor league schedules. So not sure why, uh, not sure what caused that to transpire, but it is what it is. Boy, Rupert Jones, he's going to get a little bit better. Batting stats, batting splits. Well, yeah, I mean, again, we've only got two games, so I mean that doesn't that doesn't help me at all stat-wise. Mm -mm -mm. I really don't need anything else. Um, all right, let's see, Solita. 28. I think I'm letting him go at the end of this season. Let me try to shop him again. Lee Lacey, second base, sprained ankle, five days. Ah, uh, hmm. Hmm. What do you think, guys? 152 signed through this year. Second and all three outfield positions. That could be my right field upgrade, could it not? That could be my right field upgrade. Yeah, I don't... Uh, let me check something else. Status, popularity... Um, scouting report... Easy to like. Cool. I like that. It gets rid of a disruptive force in my clubhouse. He's 27. That's a deal. 
Yep. Complete the trade. Bye. Oh, it's af are we after the trade deadline? I didn't even notice that. All right, well, hey, we'll give that a shot. Um, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, well, let's see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and uh, jump back into the sim here. Let's see. Let me take a look at the front of the schedule. All right, so let's see. Let's go back to July. Okay, there's the All-Star break. So, yeah, we're a couple of weeks after the All-Star break. And I don't think we've won a series yet. Let's see. California, we split. The White Sox, we lost two of three. The Rangers, we split only because we won the doubleheader. The Twinkies, we lost two out of three. The Angels, we lost two out of three. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're trending badly. Um, again, the goal is to win two out of three, not lose that many. So we've got Oakland, the Yankees, Milwaukee, Oh, they went through waivers, and the deal is done. And the clubhouse secretly appreciates the deal. All right, so. Now, Lee Lacey has a sprained ankle, two days. Get him on the team. I don't have any. Who do I have on the DL? Stags for four months. You know what? I'm going to call... See, I don't want to burn his contract here. Um, all right, Rodney Scott, I'm going to bring you back down. And then Lee... Oh, wait, you know what? Maybe I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. So Lacey... I want to make my second baseman. I'm going to bring Rodney back up, but I do have Al Cowens, and that's who I want in right field. All right, so Cowens is still there. Wolford's there. Lacey, there. Uh, Rodney, there he is. So second. All right, let me do this. I'm going to ask for all depth charts. All right, but I want Al Cowens there, so I've got to force that. Game strategy. Force start in right field. All right, let's, that sets him there. Lacey's at second. Scott's now backing up around the horn. And I don't have a backup first baseman. I think I've got a place on my roster, though. All right, Frank. Let me go down to my minor leagues and look at first base. Charlie Beeman, John Wathen. Now, do I call John up from Double A? No, I think I think I'm going to bring up Ortenzio. That's who I'm going to bring up. All right, that gets that done. All right, let's bump that one more time. That gets him in the game. That fills everything out. All right. We're not at the end of the month, so I don't want to check, or the week, so I don't want to check uh, my email yet. All right. That gets us up there. All right. Let's see. Jeff Burrows, a setback with his sprained ankle. Louis Tiant. 
34 years old. I really wish I could have seen him pitch more. Uh, you know, because he was already, you know, like I said, I started getting into baseball 75, mainly the 76 season was my first big year of really understanding baseball and knowing that there was a professional league and starting to root for teams and track things. Um, some friends of mine and I created a baseball game using uh, dice and pen and paper uh, and, and starting to really follow players. And, uh, you know, so Tiant was already a little older. Um, let's see, his last year. Now, he pitched till 82, um, but not a lot. So, well, okay, I, you know, he pitched all the way up to 40 and 80. That was, you know, I was still in middle school. I started high school in 81. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess I did. But still, you know, you, you see him pitch five or six years. And, you know, a, lot, a couple of those were at the tail end, but a couple of those were his, you know, I kind of missed right at the start of his peak, and I came in right at the end of it. So, yeah, it, 75, I only really saw him at his peak for two years. And, uh, you know, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of that and, and seen maybe a couple. It's kind of weird, this drop from 68 all the way to 73. Um, this year looks like injury-ridden probably coming back from injury later in the year and missing the start of the season. And then just not starting a lot of games that year. So, you know, maybe that was some, uh, you know, rehabbing that injury still and only able to come out of the bullpen. I don't remember, you know, that's that's well before I was watching him. But, you know, I mean, boy, 229, I mean, if he could have had, you know, that's 20... 33, 43, 44. I mean, man, you're looking at almost 50 more wins. You know, if he would have had 20 win seasons all through here. And he'd be pushing 300 win, wins for his career. Um, talk about a different, you know, different look at him. Anyway, we're getting on to Boston and I'm Kansas City. Come on. Pay attention to your own team. <laughs> Don Gullett, he had a great game against uh, the Giants. Uh-oh, Frank White. Ooh, did we trade him? I don't remember. Yes, I traded him in the Bruce Suter trade, right? That's correct. Earlier this year, got Bruce Suter in that deal. So... He got hurt, and he is done for the year. 267 with two home runs. Oh, I guess I could have looked right there. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Uh, Frank White, I believe he ended up becoming the uh, American League commissioner, uh, you, you know, in, in years later, like in the 90s, I think. Uh, let's see. Roy White. For the Yankees, another five days. Rudy May with a big game. Rick Wise. Nelson Bryles was hot. one nothing shutout victory. Boy, that's, and, and we just saw that's kind of rare to be winning one-run games. Bob Watson... Power rankings, we are up to number seven. So let's delete all these. Come and check out uh, what's going on. So we have now climbed back into first. A game up. Let's see, we took two out of three against Oakland. That one run, a one run victory. Oh, extra innings at that. Wow. Against Vita Blue, I mean, he's having a pretty good year. Bryles, he got hit pretty hard. Bullpen really pulled it out. Bird, three hits. Luckily didn't give up any runs. And then we got to Hamilton in the bottom of that inning. And we took two out of three against the Yankees. 
a 2 nothing shutout. Busby with a complete game over Tommy John. Look at that. You remember Tommy was a free agent that year. 14-4 and this season. Wow. And a one nothing win. So two shutout victories and both complete games. Bryles gets his 12th win. That is, wow. That was unexpected. All right, let's see. Milwaukee and Baltimore. They are in the east. Milwaukee. Yeah, Baltimore's playing well. We're going to have a hard series with them. Hopefully we can uh, sweep the Brewers. That would be nice. Busby, and Busby got the 10 wins. Bryles is 12-6. and six, And Patton got to 11. Del Canton. Good ERA, but he's struggling in the win-loss column. And well, Al Cowens is slumping. He's hitting 213 on the season. Lee Lacey, he's hitting 271. 10 homers, 37 RBIs out of the two hole. All right, let's get another week in here, let's see what happens. All right, let's check the emails. Nolan Ryan, a three-hit shutout, struck out 12, walked six. I think that's John Matlack, yep. Bob Gibson, 39 at the tail end of his career, 8-11 and 11 this season. Wow. God, he was so awesome, wasn't he? Two-time Cy Young Award winner, an MVP, Gold Glove Awards, seven-time All-Star. That dude was a monster pitcher, boy. 18 and 9, 19, 20, 21. 13 and 7, missed 11 starts that year. 21, 2, 20, 23. And he's 40 years old this year. That guy was a machine, boy. I tell you what. Probably one of the greatest pitchers ever to play, uh, in my opinion. Certainly one of the most intimidating. You know, there's always that joke about he was so mean he would throw it at his grandma. I think they were talking about Bob. <laughs> at least from what I've heard. Of course, I don't know him personally, but uh, from what I've heard, he was very much the competitor. Let's see, Rick Roden. All right, Jerry Grote tripped running up the stairs. Gotta love that. Dan Dreesen, Dwight Evans, season's over, concussion, hitting 314, 19 homers, 78 RBIs, boy that's going to be a blow for the Red Sox, Jim Cott of the White Sox, 13 and 9 on the season, George Hendrick, his season's over. A broken kneecap. Ow! That just sounds painful, doesn't it? The White Sox have jumped up to number five. We've dropped way off to number ten. I am guessing we had a bad sim. We took two out of three from Milwaukee. Looks like they had to delay that Baltimore game on Saturday. And we dropped a double header. So we got swept. I believe, if memory serves me right, that is the first series sweep we have suffered this year. We played them close, 3-2. to two, And we had a 2 nothing lead. They got all three in the eighth inning. Wow. So Busby had a shutout after seven got rocked for three runs and did not record an out in the eighth. Ouch. Ouch. 
that's painful. Now let's see. Yeah, this is that. This is that thing where I can only see one game. Boy, I don't like that. I certainly hope they fix that. Dennis Martinez. Eight innings, one run, three runs in seven for Bryles. I mean, yeah, competitive, but nowhere, not what we need to be doing there. All right, so that three-game losing streak now drops us two games back of the White Sox. And we are six back in the wild card race behind Baltimore. Well, if we're chasing Baltimore, we're pretty screwed, I think. <laughs> All right, let's get another week in. And I'm in the last minute of this video, so let's go ahead and put a break here, and we'll come back in the next episode and pick up at this point. Guys, thanks for watching again. I uh, hope you're enjoying the season and the, and the video series here. As always, chime in with any thoughts, comments, anything that you'd like to see in particular, and I will be happy to try to accommodate that. But uh, thanks again. We'll see you next time. Take care.